Right. How do we monitor progression of the, uh, how the progress of the disease? Well, normally, patients with acute pneumonia presenting to hospital, coming in, receiving their antibiotics, their IV rehydration, they actually get better within a couple of days, for two to three days. Normally, the pyrexia will go away within 72 hours. Their, their pulse rate and their blood pressure will come back down to normal. And the oxygenation will improve. And in a, as well, we can do a blood test to see where there's a, an improvement in whatever parameters that have been abnormal on the initial presentation. So, for example, the C-reactive protein, the inflammatory marker, which is normally quite high on presentation, should usually fall by 50% every 24 hours or so once the stimulation of inflammation has gone. So once the patients, once the infecting organisms have been killed by your antibiotics, then the CRP will fall by, 20, by 50% every day or so. So by the day three or four, we expect the emitting CRP level to have fallen by over 50%. And the things like the hyponatremia, the abnormal liver function test, the high white cell count, the high urea and creatinine, they should all normalize over the first couple of days of admission. If somebody's not getting better, if the blood tests are persistently abnormal, if they're still hypoxic and there's still a pyrexia, you need to think about various things. One is that you need a chest X-ray to look for the complications. And if there's a pleural effusion present, then you need to tap that pleural effusion to make sure it's not infected. You need to think about reculturing to see whether the, bac the bacteria that is present might be a resistant organism. And I've mentioned Pseudomonas already as one of the, the, organisms we, the key organisms we need to consider. And then we just have to think about the diagnosis. Was this the right diagnosis? Did they have pneumonia? Or do they have one of those other conditions that I mentioned earlier? Is this a pulmonary embolus, for example? Is there actually quite, is a pulmonary edema complicating this? Is there a cancer that makes the consolidation difficult to treat, as there's no drainage of that area of the lung? Or is this an inflammatory lung disease, which is not infective at all, a cryptogenic organized pneumonia, et cetera, et cetera? You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.